the player with the least votes to save and who's raptured is John. You have two votes to save and Jaden has three. John ends up going home and now I've lost my ride or die and I'm feeling a little deflated and crushed at this time. Would you like to say anything? Yeah, as long as he doesn't mean I'm the same to everybody. That's what I'm gonna say. I ended up doing what I think anyone would do in this situation and told a bold-faced lie. I think I did a really good job too. I shook John's hand, looked him in the eye, and told him, absolutely, John, if you put your vote to stay on me, you know I'm gonna return the favor. You can trust that, okay? You can trust that. I'm gonna shake on it. Thank you. We live around where the baddest bitch in this house gets what he wants. <laughs> God, John is gone. I'm gonna fully take credit for this. I organized all the numbers. I did all the math that other people couldn't. Getting John out was definitely the best thing for my game. Uh, he's a great guy and I'm sure we get along great outside of the show, but we were on different sides of the house and I, he's just a really good social player and I think he just showed his cards a little bit too early. Um, so I was very happy to see him go. So surprised to see John going home, but Finally, it's happened. I've put him in the pits a couple times now. Um, I think this can finally free up Lydia to work more closely with me and uh, break her away from his target level. Hi, John. Welcome to the jury. Yes! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was so excited to see John walk up those steps. We were not expecting it. At this point, we kind of saw this cyclical motion of John going up with Javen, other person going down, John going up with Javen, other person going down. We were all talking about how to stop this cycle. Obviously, someone downstairs was working their ass off, got the right person out. So very glad I'm safe the fourth time in a row. I would much rather be safe than risking going home. But at this point, the only person I'm really able to talk game with is Charlie. And it's really kind of bringing light to the fact that there is a handicap to having to be up here. You can take those off now. Oh, yeah. You're gonna be free. Well, I mean, can I take them off? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I'm extremely relieved that John went home. I think that he was steamrolling a lot of people, even me at one point, just like with the way things were going on, I was getting told what to do a lot and I feel like it was a reset that we all needed to happen. You could, people could have beat John in the end because he wasn't really well liked yeah. by the jury. So that was like yeah. weird, but-, but clearly gets every time. Right, it's like, so now that John's gone, that actually opens up a lot for me to work different avenues because he was such a target to so many people and had burned those bridges that people weren't gonna work with me if they associated me with him. And it was very obvious that we were a tight two. That's, that's the reason why I brought John in because I was like, well, the, the stats here are like, I know that Lydia and Chloe are close to him, just based on his social interactions and things. And yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I don't know who I can really trust in this game now. John V gets eliminated and I kind of lose Lydia. And Charlie's now nominating me like it's nonchalant. Yeah, moving forward, like, I would really like to work with you closer, Noah closer, 100%. So it's like, really I'm like, trying to scavenge and I'm trying to like talk to new people. I've been playing the middle very heavily in this game. I'm banking right now that I can work heavily with people like Javen, people like Jojo, people like Dresden, and I can make it far enough where I can hopefully start winning comps that matter. 
Except for John got eliminated, you know, JoJo and Charlie came back down um, and they were absolutely shook. I mean, eyes were popping out of their head, mouths were just like open. And they're like, what did you do? And I was like, I did beat baby. We had to get this man out of here. Um, so I kind of pulled them aside and let them know like, you know, all the little strings I had to pull, the people who had to vote the right way and how all the pieces just magically fit together. Um, thanks to me. Welcome Final 10. Are you ready for your next Omni trial? This competition is called Tower of Change. Each of you will have four cubes in front of you with different colors on each side. The goal is simple. Whoever stacks the tower so that each of its sides show the four different colors on it will be the winner and gets to decide who to throw down into those nasty pits. Sound good? Great. Good luck. And in three, Two, one, puzzle. This competition is very much Rubik's Cubisque. You have your four blocks with the colors to so make sure that at the end when you check, like there's red, blue, yellow, green, there's no repeats on any of the sides. My strategy for this, uh, my college roommate owned this game when I was a senior and like randomly throughout the day, he'd be like, he'd just throw the cubes at me and he'd be like, come on, we're just gonna do a survivor puzzle. So I've had experience with this. At this point, I feel the pressure might be getting to me. So let's just hope that that whole senior year of college paid off. Since it is like a super reset, John just left. I barely wanted to win Omni to begin with because I like being down there for the vote. We get the box and I'm just fucking trying. I didn't really have faith in myself. I really was like, I know there's a formula to this and I know someone knows it and it's not me. So we're doing the Tower of Change and I'm pretty confident that I don't want to win this one. Now that John's out, I feel like there could be an opportunity for a shake up. The game might get a lot more fluid. I can't even see what is on these blocks because I am seeing red, red, red right now. I'm not seeing any of the other colors. This is the game that kicked my ass in Survivor. I spent 30 minutes trying to do it just to go home and there's no way I'm getting this. I am a little bit colorblind. They have to label the different colors because reds and greens, blues and purples are very similar to me. So I think, I think I need to match all the colors on one side, all the colors on the other side. I'm like, it's a Rubik's cube, bitch. I am like, I am slaying. But then Sheila Devil walks over beside me and she's like, for anyone confused, you are not matching up similar colors in a row. Not the same color. For anyone that needs that. You have to pick different colored blocks and place them. <laughs> and this sets me back a little bit. Four or five times I thought I had a strategy and then I turn it and then only one side is different. And then I go to like try to fix it but I couldn't figure out how to do that. They were just, I wish I had more time. And I'm just sitting here spinning my blocks, you know, looking pretty, looking at all the colors. But I know that everybody sees me as their number now. And the only number I see is one because I'm one step closer to winning this game. I fucking won that block challenge. I cannot believe it. Thank God. I literally, I think my face was like this. Like I was like shocked. I was like, I didn't even, when it was time to check, I didn't even believe I got it right. I'm like, there's no way. It's the first like power shift since Charlie's been winning for like 20 weeks in a row. Not actually, but you know what I mean? I cannot tell you the relief I'm feeling when I see my girl to the right, Trevor Wynn, my absolute bestie. 
was such a relief. I knew in that moment I would not be in the pits. So not too happy with Trevor winning Omni. I put him in the pits when I was, and that just kind of gives him ammo to say my name, but hopefully he doesn't. Um, so I'm very stoked that Trevor's won. Um, we've really been just kind of like keeping our, um, like a little alliance just kind of like on like the low low. Uh, we just have like good conversations like and just kind of keep each other updated each vote. Uh, we voted the same way um, on like almost every single vote so far. Tell me. We pulled it off. So, yeah. so hopefully that's a picture that we I really vibe with Javen, and I get the sense that Javen is close with Trevor. If I'm going to pitch an end game scenario, I'm going to probably have to pitch it in a way where I'm pitching three of us getting to the end. And I want to work with Javian. I think he wants to work with me too, but he may want to work with Trevor. So I need to pitch an end game with the three of us and then later go and try to build rapport with Trevor so we can be on one accord. Oh, I'm so fucked. <laughs> the minute Trevor won, I was like, and I'm fucked. I, I've never known where he stands. I thought we were like all okay. But again, it was like him and Javen. And then I kind of like get sucked into like John and that bullshit the way that I did. But no, the minute Trevor, the minute Trevor won, I was like, I'm done. I told the truth. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. So, oh. if I'm down, one on me, and if you're down, two on you. Now with John gone, Charlie is a thousand percent my number one ride or die at this point. I always stay loyal to my people. Okay. Do you like already have like an idea of like, what you want to do, or are you like... So Trevor wins the Tower of Change, and based off the previous round, I feel like I can trust him. So I have a conversation with him. I see it as like John gone and cleared the sand mm -hmm. or whatever. And the next Ami, it's like, do you take a shot at someone completely new or whatever? Mm -hmm. Or do you fucking ride that wave? But I don't think when I say that, I mean put you and Chloe up. Mm -hmm. But he is up front and letting me know that I am going into the pits. And after losing my number one, going straight into the pits the next round just does not look good for my game moving forward. For my nominations, what I was thinking is that, okay, Chloe and Lydia are easy to put up because they just were kind of on the opposite side. They were John's closest allies. People aren't going to be mad and they're also going to get it. They're going to understand. Do I put up the people and just keep that train going that are with, that were with John? Did I, they voted, they didn't vote the same way as me. They lied to me, but there's only two of them, right? Yeah. And it's the two girls. So me and Trevor had talked and he basically was like, I'm putting in Lydia, I'm putting in Chloe, and I'm putting up either you, Jojo, or Charlie. And I'm like, then it leaves, okay. All the rest of us, we voted the same. We were on the same page. For me to put one of them up, I'm like, that would be scary. So I'm like, what about upstairs? Right, and that's where you were. Yeah. Trevor told me straight up, he was like, listen, I am putting up one of you. I can't lie to you. I can't say that you're not part of my plan this round because I'd be lying. And he was like, basically just be prepared to go up. With Seb, I feel like I don't have the best connection with him. We're trying to be honest with each other. We're trying to talk a lot, but compared to how my connections are with everyone else, I feel like it's just weaker with Seb. There are some people that I would love, if I want, could make a big move, I would put up bigger names than I'm thinking. But the thing is, is we're halfway through this game. I need to just kind of do what's best, keep my people safe and whatever happens, happens. No, no big names yet. So, I haven't got to talk to all of you one-on-one. -on -one. Last round was fucking wild, was crazy. 
I've got a lot of trust with a lot of people in that round. And then there's some people that I don't distrust. We just voted differently. So with that, I'm sorry, Chloe. I knew it. <laughs> and Lydia, I'm sorry. <laughs> cool. And then that leaves, um, like I'm about to fucking go up there next, it's upstairs, right? So it's like stupid to say this, but it's just the truth that uh, people upstairs don't really get to play the game down here. I don't know where everyone's head is at up there type of thing. So I have to, I'm picking someone from up there and I'm sorry, but so I'm deciding to pick you. And so when my name was called, I wasn't shocked. Um, it just, I knew that I had to win the POR or, you know, like I've been banking all season, get second so I can have some power. These are three people, but I don't know where I stand with them this late in the game. So I'm okay. So, can we have a triple? I'm okay with seeing all three of these people gone. So now that I made my nominations, I'm up in the Golden Gates, up in heaven, with all my favorite people that were just voted out, wink, wink. And essentially, it's I, I kind of get stressed up there because I want to know what's going on downstairs in limbo and the pits, because that's where all the power is. So being up in heaven is, is not my first choice. Um, you lose the power. I want to be voting bitches out, not just kind of watching from a side. Are you ready for a mini endurance challenge? For our next joint POP POR competition, tears from above. So Mr. Gates tells us this is a mini endurance and I'm like, okay, that's okay. I did very well. I did semi okay in the block competition. So I'm okay with this. Each of you will have a spoon that you will use to collect tears from your fallen contenders from the tier collection bin and fill your individual bucket to the top the quickest. And then he tells us the cop and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> the first contenders in limbo and the pits to complete will win safety. Second player from the pits will get the chance to drag someone from limbo into the pits with them. Any particular questions? Okay, so I see the Tears From Above challenge, and when I saw it, I felt that I could win this. So I figured if I sprinted, it didn't matter if I dropped a few drops, because if I could go one and a half to two trips per their one, I was gonna fill up the bucket faster no matter what. So my strategy in this competition is to not have a heart attack. Uh, it is so much cardio. I am trying my hardest, my legs are burning. I did leg day yesterday. I woke up, got that morning pump, got the morning grind. My legs are very sore. Oh my goodness, this challenge, I am so excited. It's finally something endurance. This is something that I try to like, not really show off much, but I've got long legs, I got a fat ass. This, these legs can move. I know some people are taking like as big of a scoop as they possibly can and walking back and kind of like tiptoeing so they don't lose drops. And I just know that I am going to lap people as much as possible. If I lose a couple drops, that's fine. I'm just making sure that when I dump it into the bucket, it's not splashing out. So we're doing the Tears From Above challenge. Um, again, trying to lower my threat level a bit. Uh, Lydia is hauling ass and I am honestly just doing my best to stay out of her way. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm scooping. I'm putting it in the cup. I'm scooping. I'm putting it in the cup. I'm huffing. I'm puffing. I'm like... <laughs> Um, the water bucket thing was annoying. Um, I got put in this spot where I kept hitting my fucking head on a tree, or the branches were just, somebody would like pull them and they'd snap me in my face. I have no tears to cry, and the tears of the fallen are all the people I pissed off. So guess what? I'm not collecting your tears. 
I'm splashing myself in the face with them because I don't need to win this. It's really cold outside. My strategy is just to go as fast as I can. And if water spills out of my spoon, so be it. If I get to my bucket fast enough, maybe I can get to my bucket with some water um, opposed to no water. <laughs> Nate has a winner. Oh, thank God. I'm so happy to win this week. Um, I do feel like I would have been safe this week, um, but it's nice because now that people think that there's been a reset in the game, I don't have to sit down there and choose who to vote. So our relationship is still on the reset mode um, and I get to be safe. And we have a winner with Lydia. You are competing for second place. I am happy that I fought for my safety and I at least bought myself another round in the game. And then Lydia gets announced first. Great. Awesome. She's safe. She can go up there. Whatever. But there's still a second part. Like it wasn't just like, oh, Lydia wins and we're good. Now we're competing for second. Me and Chloe both are walking. We're like, who? <laughs> and Chloe has taken it. Good job, y'all. Uh, congratulations, Lydia. You have one redemption and will enter the Golden Gate. Congratulations, Nate. You have one protection and will also enter it. I do think that winning the power protection is the best advantage in this game. I think Omni puts a target on your back, but power protection, you just kind of like slip away before the drama really starts to kick in, while also getting a lot of information and stuff before you go over get more information in the games. So it's a little bittersweet winning my safety because now for the first time in the game, I'm going up to the Golden Gates and leaving my teammates behind down in limbo and I'll have no idea what's gonna happen down there. I think this is your smart choice and it's probably your easiest. Yeah. Cause he did nominate you a couple yeah. times. Chloe came to me right after she had gotten second place and she was like, who can I put up? to save both of us. And I told her, I said, the only person that you can do that could potentially save us both is Charlie. I feel like that's you. All right, I need to talk to you about okay. So I won the power to drag somebody, which was kind of surprising. I didn't, I, I wasn't sure where I was gonna place in that. Um, however, I, I know that I only have one option right now. Oh, the same put me? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Well, you also already put me there. Yeah. It makes the most sense right now yeah. and I don't want like um, it's nothing against you as you know yeah, yeah, yeah. but like you're the only one that I can think of right now that gives me a shot it gives me that gives me any shot yeah. like looking at everybody who I have the option of Charlie made the most sense to me just because he'd already put me in the pits before and looking at everybody else I just I didn't see anybody that I could potentially go up against and win uh, whenever you're ready, you can drag the player that you'd like to join you in seven the pits. Wow. All right, he already knows. This is a really hard decision. Breaks my heart making this one. Um, I'm trying to separate you. Down here with me. Glad to be back down here. I have my extra vote. It's only good this round, and I can play it for myself. Everyone's expecting seven votes to be safe. I only need two people to side with me. Okay, who's I'm voting with us? Noah, well, Noah, Noah, yeah. Noah, I think votes Chloe. I don't know how Dreads votes. I have a target that I've been telling everyone. Uh, it's it's extremely obvious. He's put me in three times. It's Charlie. So I'm campaigning to get Charlie out. He has won three competitions. He's incredible at memorization. Like any sort of memorization comp, he's winning. So I'm pitching that to Chloe and talking to Seb and was saying that I have his back. I think that we have a perfect opportunity to get rid of Charlie. Charlie is just starting to fall into that category of people that are gonna become harder to get out of this game. We don't do anything about it. If I didn't take care of getting rid of John, 
that would have been a situation. And so Charlie is reminding me of that situation. And so he's probably gonna be the one to go this time around. So Charlie gets dragged and I could not be happier. I'm looking at all the numbers right now. There's no way that I can go home this round. I have Jojo, I have Javen, and I have Chloe keeping me. That's three votes. So I pull aside uh, Noah and Jojo and I tell them I'm, voting, I'm putting a vote on myself. I'm putting a vote on Chloe. Keep me around if you want. We've been a little trio. Um, and it's in your hands. And I took it easy from there. I wanted Seb's aggressive campaigning to spook people possibly and backfire against them. Charlie is a shield in this game. Everybody wants Charlie gone, but Charlie, Jojo, and I are my three. That is my core day one alliance in this game. So the idea of flipping and keeping Charlie safe and raising a bunch of what the fuck just happened I'm still gonna say I saved Chloe. Welcome to your seventh rapture, where there's seven voters, I just realized. That's kind of cool, okay. As we always do, start with that couch, you'll have a few seconds. Regardless of how this goes, uh, yeah. Regardless of how this goes, I had so much fun. I have so much respect for everybody. And uh, thanks for letting me stick around for a little bit, regardless of how it goes. Um, I kind of pigeonholed myself uh, with some people, I think, uh, but my door is always open. I'm happy to do whatever I can to stay. And um, yeah, use me as your weapon. Just point and shoot. Thank you, Sam. First off, great experience. I really love you all. Thank you for the friendships I've made. Uh, to the people I've talked to in the past, you know, break we've had, you know, what my plan is moving forward. And I'll do the same plea that I gave before. If you vote to save me, you'll make my little smile a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's been a fun time. It's my first game. I'm just happy I made it even this far. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. I'm not really nervous. I'm just excited to see what happens. <laughs> All right, thank you everybody. Glad for all the friends that I made, all the new connections that I made. It's been a great time. For sure. Oh, it's my first vote and I'm not in danger this time. I'm loving this. Um, Please cast your vote to save. I am gonna have to go with my boy Seb. Thank you, Jamin. Hi, Mamu. Hi, Papu. Love you. Flippity floppity. I vote to say Charlie. I would like to act like I'm a badass player knowing what I'm doing, but I have no idea what I'm doing. And it's there's just so many layers. I don't know who's working with who. And being up here when you're safe, you miss out on so, 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 so much. I, I have no idea. I'm just trying to make it at this point. Please cast your vote <laughs> to save. I'm hoping... I'm on the same page, and I'm putting my vote to save Charlie. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm saving Charlie. But I feel like overall, my social game compared to other games have been, like, this, my social game this time around compared to other games has been a great improvement, and I'm proud of myself either way, whatever happens. Beautiful. Um, Who's got I, your vote to save? My vote to save is gonna be for Chloe. All right, please cast your vote to save. I will cast one vote for Chloe and one vote for myself. Wow! I cast my vote to save Chloe. Thank you, Seb. Thank you. I'm just really stressed. And I don't know how to, like, this is harder than I thought it would be. I didn't, like, expect that. So I don't even care if I get eliminated. That's not, like, <laughs> what it's about. I'm just stressed out. Mm -hmm. And I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm just crying because I'm stressed out and frustrated yeah, and it's yeah. hard. Yeah. That is really tough. I'm so tired. Yeah. I don't think I got any sleep last night. Well, we're getting through it. So <sighs> no, I know. give us your vote to save and we'll keep um, on trying. I'm going to vote for Seth. 
Can you say it one more time? I'm gonna vote for Seb. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Thank brother. You. And with that, the round seven, seven person vote has been completed. And we have our results. With three votes to save, Chloe is safe. With three votes to save, Charlie is safe. And Seb has two votes to save and is eliminated and raptured from the game. The votes get revealed, and they announce Chloe gets three votes to save. And I'm like, oh, snap. This vote just tied. Like, what is going to happen? Like, I was kind of, like, interested at a point. I was like, me and Charlie tied. What is going to happen? Are they going to pull the people from the Golden Gates to vote? Is the jury vote for a tie? Does the Omni vote? And then they announced Charlie had three votes. And I was like, what? And so Mr. Gates announces with two votes to save, I'm eliminated. So the people who lied, yeah, it's whatever. Um, um, good luck to the people who said they had my back and to the people who didn't. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Call me crazy, but there's seven people voting. How is there eight votes down here right now? And I'm just so confused because not only does that mean something happened to the point where there's eight votes, but something flipped on me. I'm just hella excited I got this far. I was able to win three competitions, which made my ego just a tiny bit bigger. I was able to make some really good friends in this and I'm like super happy that this was my first LRG and uh, hoping that at the next one, I can do better. But as, <laughs> as Abby Ramuri once said, at least you made jury.